What's up, Cal Gang? All right, it wants us to find and sketch a domain of a function here, and it gives us a function, which looks kind of weird, but I'm gonna show you how to do this, all right? So when you're finding the domain of a function, you wanna find where it doesn't exist, basically, where the line is not defined, where the, the area doesn't work, all right? So when you have square roots, of course, that's pretty nice, right? Well, you know what square roots is that they can't be negative, right? You can't have a negative number inside of a square root. Therefore, you can say that this has to be greater than or equal to zero, basically. This whole, this whole function does, but more specifically, each part, each square root has to be greater than or equal to zero. So let's write that. So we have zero has to be less than or equal to the square root of x. So of course, that means that zero has to be less than or equal to x. So that's a function right there. That's something that's very valuable to our information. That means that x has to be on this side. It cannot be negative. All of this is not fair game anymore. You can't use that. That's not anything that can exist on this function. All right, so let's do it again for the next one. We have zero has to be greater than or equal to square root of four minus four x squared minus y squared. So perfect, we can uh, get rid of the square root and move that. So that's gonna be four minus four x squared minus y squared, just square both sides, of course. Let's move all of this over to the other side, just add it over. So it's gonna be four x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to four. So now we have an equation of an ellipse, right? Uh, so I think you guys have learned how to draw ellipses already, but let's go ahead and do it my way. So if you divide by four on x sides, it's gonna be y squared over four is less than or equal to one. So perfect, let's draw this. So what this tells us is that x uh, has an intercept at one because it's just the, the under, number under it is one, so here. And then y can have an intercept at two because it's under uh, four, which is the square root, or the, uh, you know, the square root of two. So it's gonna be here and here, right? So our circle would look like this, but because we cannot be on this side, it has to be this area here. This is our domain. Actually, I don't know why I made it name. Capitalize, that's our domain right there. And if you want to really specify this line, it's gonna be x squared plus y squared over four, so that's three over one. That's what that domain is. So let's write the domain, right? Ooh. It fell, okay. All right, domain. So you want to use your little cool uh, equal to, cool brackets, and then put your function. So we have x and y, and then a line. And then you just write what you got. So x is greater than or equal to zero. And then we have that, uh, let's see, x squared plus y squared over four is less than or equal to one. Let's see if that's how the book wrote it. I'm gonna go double check. Yeah, that's how the book wrote it. So there you go. Close that off, and that's your domain. That's how you draw all this stuff. Uh, so we basically, solve these kind of problems. Just, just like, a, just find where it doesn't exist. Basically, that's how you find the domain. Is finding out where it doesn't exist. And uh, yeah, so if you do that, stick to your guts, and you'll find perfect areas every time. Very cool. All right, good luck on your calcomer, guys.